Are you still falling for that lie that nicotine is bad for you? Here's the truth that will change your perspective. Nicotine is often unjustly vilified, despite its potential therapeutic benefits, especially in neurodegenerative diseases. Studies show that nicotine has neuroprotective properties, which could be beneficial in diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Nicotine's anti-inflammatory effects reduce oxidative damage, a key contributor to neurodegeneration. While its addictive nature in tobacco is problematic, mm -hmm. when isolated, nicotine can be a therapeutic agent agent, offering significant potential for treating brain disorders. This is pretty well done overall. I would just have a caveat here that you don't want to smoke or vape your nicotine, even if it's straight nicotine, which is almost impossible to find. Your vaping products are going to have additives in them. They're going to make them more addicting. Obviously, cigarettes have a huge amount of nicotine, as do vaping products as well. So the amount of nicotine is also important here. So you don't want to have as much nicotine that would be in a cigarette. That's like 26 milligrams per cigarette or more for a vaping product. The sweet spot is a very low dose. Maybe even you want, I'm going to call it a microdose of nicotine, somewhere between one to four milligrams a day orally not vaped or smoked is extremely safe. There's really very little addictive potential here. And it's gonna have all the properties that he just mentioned in this video. It's gonna be an anti-inflammatory. It's gonna improve cognitive potential. It's gonna release neurotransmitters, not only dopamine, but also acetylcholine, serotonin, and norepinephrine as well. So you have all these neurotransmitters that are being released as a result of nicotine binding to nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, improving memory, improving inflammatory pathways. And so you see significant benefit as a result of taking it. The key is to keep the dose low and to not smoke it or vape it. Less than four milligrams a day is ideal, ideally in a slow release formulation like a buccal trochee, as we have at Transcriptions Blue Canatine. There's a combination of nicotine, just one milligram in a full trochee with methylene blue, caffeine, and CBD. The average dose of a blue canatine trochee is one half, which just means you're getting a half of a milligram at a time. So keep your dose low, keep it less than four milligrams a day, and get some massive benefits from nicotine.